We all know what happens when a racing car takes on a road car around a race track. Except in this case, we've come up with a slightly different take on that challenge. Because the Hyundai i30N road car and its sister WTCR racer might well be closely related in branding and fundamental design, but in reality, they're completely different animals from one another. The racing i30N, which won the World Touring Car Championship outright in 2018, and which costs three and a half times as much as its road-going cousin, has 350 bhp, can do 0 to 60 in less than five seconds, wears slick tires and weighs well under 1300 kilograms. Whereas the i30N we already know is one of the quickest, most focused hot hatchbacks money can buy. But it still wouldn't stand a chance over a single lap beside its racing brother. So for today, the challenge will simply be this. Can the racer complete seven laps of the Tazio Nuvolari circuit just outside Milan in Northern Italy before the road car can complete six laps? So it'll be me driving the i30N road car and my friend Mr. Dickie Meaden driving the racing car. Lucky sod. But do you know what, I reckon I've got half a chance here because you know, we've, we've already spent a lot of time in the i30N at Evo and we know that it is a proper weapon of a hot hatch. For this, I am going to be in end mode and I'm going to have the TC and the ESP switched off because it is just faster. I think I need to get a little bit of practice in and I'm going to leave it to my friend Mr Meaden to talk you through the racing car. Clearly, I want to beat Steve in this race. I've never driven this car before, but this man has. Can you explain the best way to, to drive this car? The most important thing is to, to build your confidence slowly. This is because we don't have tire warmers, so you will probably need one or two laps. Only at that point you can start to attack. Also, important thing is to have a good launch. And there's quite a specific method or, yeah. or technique to this? So the technique is that you stop, you select first gear, yeah. you, you still have the clutch uh, pressed, then you start to pull the handbrake. So you build a preload with the clutch, you need to press the launch button. As soon as you want to start, you yeah. just release the just handbrake let. and you come off the clutch and you need to, to hold the launch button up to the point where you shift to second gear. The biggest time gain will be under braking and in the corners compared to the road car. Well, thank you for the tips. You're welcome. Steve, I'm coming to get you. Time to find out. Here we go, 280 horsepower versus 350 and also the racing car weighs, we've worked out about 300 and something kilograms less than the road car. So it has got the e-diff and it does work well. You've got to commit to the throttle in order to hook the diff up. It's just about being neat and tidy. That's first lap and I absolutely, I've got no idea where he is. Where is he, where is he, where is he? It's such a good feeling when you get this car turned in and it squeeze on the power. Right, let's give it some proper commitment through here. Oh my Lord. Gearing's quite short, which actually works quite well on this track. It does, it 
kind of flies up the revs. Brakes are standing up to it, and this is a proper heavy braking circuit. This is such a strange race. Since the start, I haven't seen Steve. Three more to go. I like the fact that I can't see him. His tyres must be going off as well. I love the way it turns into these slick, slick tyres. It's got so much grip. Sugar, he's catching me. 15 seconds a lap is the difference, pretty much, between these two cars. What do I do? <laughs> I, I could just, I could just become a total mobile chicane so that he can <laughs> get past me. Oh no, that's just scrappy, so Cliff. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh no, he's just going to do me out of the last corner. I don't believe this. I do not believe this. Nice to see you. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> the road i30n might have been beaten just but i thought it was fantastic to drive around this circuit genuinely it was a blast to drive but in the end the fearsome wtcr i30n was just a bit too tasty for the road going i30n to handle mind you i got to drive the road car straight back to the airport whereas Dicky still had to put his car back in the truck and go through all that other palaver. Either way, it was, as they say, a great day out at the races. <laughs> <laughs>